the cool thing about this product is is that it is um, compatible with all operating systems it requires no installation of any software of any sort uh, and you can get started in just a few minutes as a matter of fact what I'm about to do uh, is just go ahead and get connected to it it's called the GoPi Go it's a little robot let me pop over to the camera and show you here this little robot right here so you can get in frame yeah it actually has just a Raspberry Pi and then a daughter board here that runs the motors and interfaces the sensors uh, you've got a camera up front that I fastened down with some electrical tape there uh, it's got a USB stick for storing the photos uh, it's got a uh, Wi-Fi dongle, which is actually not necessary if you have a uh, Pi 3, but it does make the latency a little bit better. Oop, get this in the frame. Uh, you've got, of course, you got your two motors. Uh, and uh, the cool thing about these motors is they have, oh, let me see, yeah, there we go, I can see it. Uh, they have a little hall sensor on here. It actually can count the revolutions of this little magnet hooked onto the motor. So when this thing wants to turn left by a certain number of degrees, it is dead accurate. Uh, just to go ahead and turn it on, I just need to press uh, this little button on the side here. It's going to start blinking. Let's see if I can place this in the frame. It's a little bit far away. Here we go. Get that there. Scoop that back. A little bit. A little bit. What this uh, robot's actually doing is creating its own Wi-Fi network. So. Uh, the solid green light on our GoPi Go means that our Wi-Fi network is ready. Once that, there we go. Once that light turns blue, that means we've legitimately connected to it. So your computer won't be accessing the internet unless you have some sort of Wi-Fi bridge uh, enabled. And the URL you want to go to once you're connected is going to be blockster.com. This thing is actually fudging its own DNS. Uh, Now we're connected, and you can tell we're connected because the light on the GoPi Go is blue. You do not need any more login information, uh, and you will still see this little thing here saying that you can't access the internet because the GoPi Go is not the internet. There we go. Here we are. We're in Blockster, so check this out. If you want to just get right to it, you can just hit forward, backward, left, right. Cool. Uh, Go back here, go into code in Blockster, and uh, this is the beauty of it. This is why children can do it, is because this is programmed in Scratch, MIT Scratch, or it's a Scratch-like. So if I say drive forward for one second, uh, let's say I want to turn 90 degrees to the left, and then I want to set both eyes to this color. I want to go into media, take a photo, go back here, um, set both eyes to uh, black. Let's see, make sure I'm zoomed out. I'm going to zoom out on the camera really quick, and then I'm going to hit run my program. There we go. All right, run my program. Changes colors. Take this photo, and then stops. Very cool. So, you say take a photo. You say, well, click here to access the photo. And you're going to see a lot of photos that me and my wife have taken and some photos that my uh, niece Sophia has taken. I'll have to get her permission to post. Here's me needing a shave. Uh, there's my niece giving it a try looking quizzical. Here's her looking quizzical again, taking a photo of herself. Uh, and here's her album here. So these are photos that were taken at my uh, thanks over Thanksgiving. <laughs> We're trying to get the robot to take a selfie in the bathroom. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. All right, so the photo I just took, oh, here it is. You can see my socks. So I'm recording up here. There's my socks, there's my Lowe's bin uh, for throwing broken resistors, uh, and there's my rig for the alcohol sensor that I posted on Twitter a little while ago. Uh, I just wanted to show everybody this. Uh, this is from Dexter Industries. Mm -hmm.